everyone welcome back today is jersey probably not when i'm uploading this but today is actually thursday it's time for jersey shore and like literally everything else i'm binging everything all right last episode she found the note this one's called not so sure like everybody's so boring i'm so bored i know everyone's going to sleep not me not me we're gonna finish these beers shalom angelina's just not funny to me so when she tries it's like really embarrassing who made that drink? You, you did, Jen? What is it? The Ron Ron juice. You still not talking to him? No. He's still upset about the note. He doesn't know that we did it. Pretty obvious you guys did it. If he told, tells me you told him that I wrote the note, we're gonna have a big problem. I never. Angelina is such a fucking pussy because like I, I couldn't be friends with somebody who's like threatening me like that. Like if you tell him, I'm gonna beat the fuck out of you. We're like shut the fuck up. But she's so desperate that she'll take it. She's in old head over heels in love with him. Nah, it's just. Naive children, both in love with someone that the other girls and comes in bed for her. She'll see him someone and she still won't think it's him. Isn't that the type of guy Thomas, too, though? <laughs> People in this house are keeping their mouth shut and being sly and sneaking, so I don't know what to do right now. Oh, this is this is the moment where he was a real one, surprisingly. He's 100% wrong. Do you know what I mean? And he doesn't see that. No, 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 no. You don't see that. You do not. You keep blaming yourself for some reason she just like isn't holding him accountable he's hooking up with whoever e and, and that whole thing with his ex-girlfriend that's like the f on a scale of one to ten of what else happened it's like a three what thing with his ex-girlfriend that he called he said he didn't hook up with anybody all right oh I no I I, uh, I, if you saw it you should tell me he didn't but he knew about it nothing happened she's still with the kid what else are you guys gonna do what else do you want me to do what angelina is spitting facts what are you guys gonna do next the girl's gonna get back with him no matter what they did i agree with you about that but okay. i i don't know what her problem is you. mike's the worst for this because he knew and he didn't want to say anything which is weird for mike because he just heard them say that they wrote it don't send angelina in here again involved in anything a watch your tone and b it wasn't me. It literally was. Angelina, keep bringing her out here. As a friend, she should be able to talk to me. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, Get out of here because you're a naive beast. What, a naive bitch while your man's putting his in other See, she wants to be a good friend so bad and then she does this. Immediately wants to like hit her for not listening to her. Jay, what's gonna whack? I wasn't there. What the does it matter? I wasn't there. Second. I was there. This is supposed to be my girlfriend. This is my girlfriend. She's in He's so fucking annoying. I was single. No, you weren't. You asked her to be your girlfriend, and then you did that. All of a sudden, now you guys want to open up your mouth. If you guys were real friends, you would have said something that night, and not waited a week. I and was no. there. So his argument is, you guys are bad friends because you didn't tell her immediately. But then also, like, well, you shouldn't have said anything because we're friends. So like, what the fuck? This would have been so differently if Jenny or Snooki went inside and was like, hey, can you come outside really quick? Can you imagine this season would have gone? To be honest with you, this letter has really destroyed me, and like everything is really mentally Why? And physically destroyed me. You really like nobody will ever understand what I'm going through. Someone telling you via letter destroyed you, or what happened in the letter destroyed you? Because there's a difference, and you're you're picking the first one. So much shit going on. Everybody here is shady, you're shady, I just don't know. I'm shady. Like, is he serious? Yes, you lied to her multiple times. He obviously hates her, I don't know why he bothers with this relationship. She obviously loves him. Where did Mike go? Did he go in the room? Don't worry, I want to go tame his wild animal. Uh, wait, stay right there for one second, I'll be right back. One second. She kind of looks like Amber B from Bad Girls Club. Bromsky, you know what I'm saying? I gotta make sure I'm all good. Again, like, y'all are okay getting treated like this? I got a taxi for you, baby. So, and it's all set up. I set up everything for you. You're straight. You good? Oh, you're straight? She sounds so trashed. Ew. Not one thing that I can imagine them cooking for that. You know, I like to eat. The women in my family can cook. Vinny, shut the fuck up. You cook. The only one that might be able to cook is Jenny, but what the hell would she be able to cook? Only because she's older. <laughs> Damn, I always want pasta after I watch this show Here's sam can you ask her to help yeah hold on this was her doing i didn't shop for four hours for man relax i'm hanging out right now girl if there's like milk in the car you gotta go get it you throw some balls all of a sudden Wait, balls. oh really? no this is the episode no i feel like i can get why sam's like pissed off because the second they started fighting jenny threw in her face that 
she gets cheated on. Are we friends or not? Okay, well, I want to thank the girls for pulling all together. Pulling all together today. Making this happen. Angelina didn't do shit. Sookie didn't really do anything. Sammy made a salad. You guys were like walking too. past me like I was invisible. Like I, I wasn't there. I'm sorry. It's okay. I can, I consider you like my friend in the house. No. See, like you're okay with that? Like you're the last resort. She is. I don't want to tell you things, but I feel like I can't tell you things. Cause you're gonna get your ass beat, according to Jaywa. They both did it. Yeah, they wrote it. She's so annoying. I don't know because it doesn't seem like she told her like to be nice, cause she didn't want to tell her when it was Snooki and Jaywa. But now that it's just her and Angelina, and she knows her and Angelina, her and Sammy, and she knows she can get Sammy on her side. Now she wants to be like, oh, I'm gonna be a good friend and tell her. Like it just doesn't seem genuine. So much is like going on this episode, but I feel like I'm so quiet. I don't know what it is. Like, just the little in betweens are not fun. I don't want to see Vinny go to the fucking eye doctor. Okay, come all the way forward. Yeah, your lid is really inflamed. Not interesting. Hi. All right. Here. This whole thing with Bye. like, it, this isn't interesting. Do you guys know if it's t shirt time yet? Andy! Let's go! Y'all, the stripes, oh my god. Every time I see something striped, I'm like, ew, it just reminds me of these dark times. Did you guys see that tweet where Vin and Polly preferred black girls, but producers supposedly were like, we're not trying to do all that. I'm gonna have to fight. Remember when she slapped him? You said to Yeah. Yeah. I was, was I was standing it? right here, dude. Oh. Listen to me. She yeah, was explaining to him what yeah, happened. Exactly. She wasn't That's talking. Cool. No one's paying attention to him. In this one case, I heard both sides in a split second. Jenny on the phone, and then I heard Angelina make up a complete lie about Jenny. Like, why? Why does she do that? Look at Snooky. Oh. I guess next episode will go a little more in depth because that's when they actually show the fight. But when Sammy throws that punch, it like barely got her. Like barely. I don't think she hit her. It was just unfortunate that everyone was holding her back. We'll get into it later. We'll get into it later. So this whole episode has been really annoying. I find a lot of them annoying. So that's why I'm always bouncing back and forth between like my opinion on them. I like them all like whatever. But they're just so... They say like the dumbest things. They have terrible logic. They're hypocrites. And they're kind of stupid. <laughs> I, I'm not talking about Ronnie. I fucking hate hate ronnie just the way he's like who cares i was single you were not single according to you he says if you were a real friend to me you would have told her but then it's like oh but if you were a real friend to her then you would have told her immediately so it's like you are laying out the reason why it was so difficult to say anything because you're over here acting like the way you act which is like a disgusting overbred pit bull that like can't even walk on its feet while she's trying to be a good friend and then it's like jenny's annoying because she's threatening angelina like if you tell her i'm gonna beat your ass i'm telling her if i'm angelina angelina was obviously very scared of jenny she wants to be included she was willing to put up with it until she realized there's a split and she can go on sammy's side that way she kind of has sammy to back it up that's why the second she had an opportunity, what does Angelina do? Oh my god, did you hear her talking shit about Polly? Just to like create that further divide between them. But then she does it in little secrets so that no one knows it's her. But then Vinny heard her. And then Mike's over here like, yeah, I'm so real, I'm so real. I'm gonna be a man and like tell Sammy basically the truth without even really doing it. But then, oh, I'm gonna stir the pot because I think it's funny. They're literally talking about like, we don't know what we're gonna do. And he comes and said, like, yo, they're talking mad shit about you outside. But can't say it because he knows they're not. He just wants to start something. I feel like this is a very good episode to dissect. I'm sorry. I I just, I've watched this so many times. I need to get my thoughts and opinions out there. Every time I watch this, I'm like seething with anger because i want to just say all these things but i have no one to talk to and i have you guys to tell let me know what you thought down below and i will see you next time bye